facing a large infrastructure deficit that is affecting the sustainability of high economic growth rates, leading to underemployment, higher unemployment rates, and low income levels. To be able to reverse the declining trend so as to ensure rapid and sustainable growth of the economy and to improve job creation, which has become a big problem for all of us. We have to secure adequate fiscal space. That needs to be created by the government. Indeed, there is an urgent need of a budgetary room that will allow government to provide the needed resources for public investment without undermining the fiscal situation, which is already weak. And I believe that it was for this reason that the government in 2022 budget decided to widen the tax net by imposing the electronic transaction levy, which we call e-levy, of 1.75 on electronic transactions covering mobile money payments, bank transfers, merchant trans payments, and inward remittances to be borne by the sender, except inward remittance, which should be borne by the recipient. But it should, however, be noted that taxes, levies, are imposed on incomes and gifts, consumption, and health properties or assets. Electronic transfers and payments are none of these. An electro electronic transfer usually represents a mode of payment or settlement. And indeed, modes of payment should not attract taxes or levies. This is because taxing modes of payment could lead to instantaneous double taxation. Since the underlying income or commodity would have normally been taxed already. This makes the proposed e-levy a very problematic proposition. Because it could f be fraught with serious implementation challenges. This tax could also undermine the Guinean digital economy, which the Vice President has been working on all these years. <laughs>